Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be going over how to replace the uh, helper ring with a uh, highlight around your object. And I'll also show you how to get the velocity flick half life Alex style rather than the uh, can't catch today rather than having the ring helper. Um, that's what the tutorial is going to be about. I also wanted to give you a quick peek of what I'm working on as well. I had to simplify it a bit for the tutorial, um, so it's taken me a little while. I've been kind of busy, but uh, weapon attachment system. Um, as you can see, I can't take off the attachment, but I've got it set up with a, a release. And the reason you would want that is if you reached up to do something with your gun, um, you wouldn't want to accidentally pull the stuff off. But anyway, that tutorial will be coming. Uh, we're going to do this one. Yeah, like a catch. Anyway, stay tuned. Okay, first thing is I'm in a 3D project and I'm going to be using a free asset to create the, uh, the hologram shader. If you're going to be doing URP or a high definition uh, project, then you'll need to make your own shader or buy an asset. There's a plenty of tutorials online on how to make shaders using shader graph and stuff like that but for this for the sake of this being easy we're going to do it in a 3d project and i'm going to use a free asset to do it so the first thing you're going to need is go to your package manager you'll have to get this from the unity asset store um, it's called hologram effects shader it looks like this so just go ahead and download it and import it um, we'll close that after you get it imported, you'll have this Peter Liu uh, materials, um, which these are some pretty neat shaders. But anyway, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my items. I'm in the demo scene, and I'm just going to get them out of my way. So now let's go into our BNG framework, go into prefabs. Uh, let's just grab this crowbar because that's very half-life-ish, and this is kind of a half-life effect. So... Come into your crowbar and come down to crowbar. Um, you can see this is where a mesh render is at. For some reason, there's a mesh render on the uh, on the colliders as well. Not sure why, but anyway, just duplicate crowbar. So Control D, and then we're going to rename this. So we're going to rename this uh, Hollow, so we know that it's our hologram effect. And then come into your uh, assets and go into the Peter Lou. Go into materials. Uh, let me unpack this. I got a bad habit of not unpacking things. And then it always bites me. Okay, so then just take your basic and just slap it over there. And it's going to be clear by default. Um, you can come in here and change the color and the rim color. So let's say we wanted a nice orange effect, kind of like Half-Life. You can play with the color. Um, and then our rim color, maybe we want it to be, I, I don't know. Um, let's see, maybe we just want it to be darker. Okay. And then if you come in on it, you can see we're starting to get a halo effect. And you can make it darker by pulling down the rim power. See how it's getting pretty dark. And you can just play with those settings. And then if you want to see what kind of effect you're getting, you can do that just to see what's going on with it. So let's go ahead and leave it disabled. And I'll come up to crowbar and add a component. And we want grabbable highlight. And then we're going to modify this a little bit. Um, edit script. And then, let's see, come up to the top and we're going to say uh, public game object uh, hollow parent. And then we're going to say private uh, mesh renderer. And then we're going to make that an array. And we'll say uh, mesh hollows. And this is where we're going to store however many mesh renders that you have on your object. Come down under and we're going to do a start function. So say uh, private void uh, start. And then we're going to say uh, we're going to say mesh hollows equals hollow parent dot get component components in children mesh renderer okay so that'll get all the mesh renderers for whatever object that you put this on all 
and it'll store it in a array for us. Sorry about that, I got a text. And then if you come down here to the bottom where it says uh, highlight item and unhighlighted item. So we're gonna say for each uh, mesh renderer, or, uh, what do I wanna call it? Uh, mesh hollow in mesh hollows. We're going to say uh, mesh hollow dot enabled equals true. Save. So for each one that is in our list, it's going to uh, enable it for each mesh render that it finds on the object. Um, then come down here under here, and we'll just copy that and paste it, and then we'll say false. Save it up. Okay, and let's go back into Unity. You can see we now have this hollow parent, so let's grab our crowbar hollow. We'll slap that in there. And then if you come down to uh, the ring helpers, you can go ahead and disable them, because we're not going to use them. There's two of them, so... The other one is right here. Okay, let's hop in VR and see what that looks like. Okay, you can see now we've got a real nice hologram effect going on instead of the ring helper. And you can play with the colors, it doesn't have to be orange, obviously. Now, Let's show you on the grabbable. If you want that uh, Half-Life Alex style flick, if you come down to where it says remote grab mechanic on the grabbable of the object, you can switch it to flick. Let's see what that did. So now I've got a flick rather than a linear pull. Now let's do a gun because uh, there's a couple of things you guys need to know about that. So let's go over to assets and let's go to uh, PNG framework, um, prefabs, and weapons. Let's grab the pistol new. Um, so if you look at this thing, I'll close up crowbar. If you come down to graphics, we need this. So let's grab it and just control duplicate it. And then we'll rename this to. Um, just so we know what it is. Now the slide, there's a couple of other, uh, well first before we do that, all the stuff that's in graphics hollow now that's not enabled, just go ahead and delete it. We don't need it. Um, and then if you come up to the slide for the gun, uh, right here is actually the graphics for the slide. So uh, duplicate that and drag that into our hollow effect. And I think there's one more. Uh, you'll just have to look for them. Okay, so now that's the main body of the gun. So if you click on here, go back into your Peter Lou, grab your materials. Um, if you wanted a different shader effect, so say you wanted the crowbar to be orange and you wanted this one to be, I don't know, purple or green or whatever, you would just duplicate this uh, shader and then put that shader on there. But we'll just use the same one for this. So just take it and replace each uh, material with this shader material. Okay, so now you can see we've got this kind of orange effect going on. Um, <clears throat> I want to show you something. I may not have to put my headset on to show you this, but if you hit play, oops, it help if I'm not in full screen. Um, let's see. see yeah there you go so if you look on the gun you can see how the shaders kind of uh, getting broken up by the uh, by the material of the uh, gun slide and the way we're gonna fix that is if you come into these and just make the uh, hologram slightly and just a little bit bigger it doesn't have to be very much so we'll just make it 1.01 .01, and then we'll just copy it for all of them So 
So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so you can see it kind of took care of it. You'll just have to play with that. Um, now, if we come to our pistol new, well, before we do that, come to each one of these. And here's a little trick. Um, I don't usually show this because I want to. I want you to see what I'm actually doing. If you highlight all of them, you can just click mesh render and do them all at the same time. And you, you can hit the top one and hold down your shift button, click the bottom, it'll do all of them. And you can turn them off and on on all of them. I don't use that a lot when I'm doing tutorials because I want people to actually see what I'm what I'm changing. But that's a quick little tip for you. So anyway, come up to pistol new. <clears throat> Down at the bottom, we'll add a component. We want the, uh, the highlighter again. And all you got to do is take your graphics uh, hollow and put it in there. And let's jump in VR and see what that looks like. Well, one more thing before we jump into uh, VR. Um, if you want to disable your uh, ring helpers on the actual pistol new, there's actually a ring helper on it. Um, Got to find it. Let's see. Where are you? Here somewhere. There you are. Just disable that. And then there's uh, another one right here. So just disable that and you can delete it if you want to. Okay, now let's jump in VR and see what happens. And there you have it. You'll just have to play with your highlight size. And it's just a real simple way to do something different from the ring helper. Um, as always, I hope you found this informative, and thanks for joining.